Hello, hello everyone, Cole Hatter here with Last Word. It's an RPG Maker game I bought on a Steam sale many and many year ago in a time long past, and apparently it combines uh, JRPG controls with catty Victorian conversation. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, okay. Ooh, after you. I insist. Oh dear. Excuse me, gentlemen. This is the estate of Professor Chet Chatters, is it not? Oh god, this is loud. Uh, indeed. We just arrived as well. Yo. 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 The servant should be back out soon, milady. He'll see to letting you in. Don't wait up for us. Uh, I didn't expect to see this already. What, people? See what? This. Chit Chat. War of the Words. You know what those two fellows are engaging in right now? Oh, you know what two those what those two fellows are engaging in right now? This is really loud. But surely, all I see is a bit of discourse. Wordplay is common enough at social gatherings, if not entirely expected. Yes, but have you never met Judge Boasting and Sir and Mr. McCall, Sir Mr. McCall? Huh. I love his patterns. I'm familiar with them, but we've never been formally introduced. Why? They continuously attempt to get the last word on each other. Title drop. Uh, it's a pain to listen to. It's as if whomever speaks last gets a big prize or some such thing. <clears throat> That's exactly the point, young sir. Try not to play ignorant. Who are you? This is a rather large estate. Only the best for Professor Chatters. Care to come inside? What of the other two? If we wait for them, we'll be out here all evening, freezing our smiles off. Come along. He shut the door on us, and after inviting us in, can you believe the, ner the nerve? I was gonna say such thing, that's such a thing. Oddly enough, I can. Hopefully, the exceptional Professor Chatters will have a bit more manners, so who are you? You've never met with him either? I can't say that I have. But I couldn't refuse his invitation. This should be a fairly high-profile gathering, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be a great boast for my position in the Mezinbo Corporation. All right, you're going in. It's due time we entertained our host, Mr. McCall. After you. Very graceful of you, Mr. Boasting, but I insist you lead the way. Oh, I couldn't possibly, Yo. Mr. McCall. Mr. Boasting, you simply must allow me the pleasure of le letting you go first. Oh, God. <laughs> See what I mean? You are a bit ignorant, aren't you? <clears throat> I'm witty... Witty Gawship. Oh. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Seymour Seymour of Seymour House. Oh, my God. Can this continue on anymore? A pleasure. What do you say we get inside before it gets much darker? Chapter 1, Hospitality. He who scoffs last, scoffs best. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Are we in here now? Oh, nope, still a cutscene. So this is Summer House. Summer Hoss. The estate of Professor Chatters. Of course. Why state the obvious? So everyone knows. Should it be obvious? I've never stepped in here before. Never stepped foot in here before. Good point, you certainly haven't. I don't let just anyone enter into the property. Are you Professor Chatters? You're a bit judgmental for a servant. Possibly. Professor Chatters has strict guidelines for who can and cannot attend his little get-togethers. There are a multitude of doughty figures vying to tumble through that front door. Sometimes his guests have class. Other times I must bite my tongue. Like now, for example. Well, fuck off. I don't suppose you've worked here long with an attitude like that. I'm a professional, Mr. Seymour. I, I'm gonna end up saying Mr. Seymour. It's probably just better. Uh, I've been here quite some time, and I never forget a frumpy face. I'll be sure to add you both to my mental catalog of regular attendees. The others are up this way. Follow me, follow me, yes, yes. Stay with the group, stay with the tour group. Uh, are you ready? I suppose... This isn't exactly my forte. My fort. Uh... No, you don't mingle often? 
My mother handled most of these engagements. Ooh. Level one. Seymour House. Key topic. Learned key topics to unlocked to unlock locked topics. Okay. She was the head of the Seymour House. It was a bit sheltered. I was a bit sheltered myself. Maybe you'll pick up on some of her skills. I can only hope. But maybe a glass of wine first. That always gets everyone very ready for conversation. Okay, movement keys. Can I do a WISD? Nope, it's movement keys. Hello. Hello, people. Uh, tonight promises to be interesting. Quite a few new faces. Myself included. Most certainly. You're, you especially. And it is bothersome. I come to these parties for some real conversation. Discussion, arguments, gossip. My name is Goship. Honestly, Miss... Goship. Witty Goship. I know who you are. I'm being condescending. <laughs> but as I was saying, Miss... Goship, was it? I don't think you have what it takes to hold your own here. Well, I'll find a show you, lady, Miss Scarlet. You're serious. I am. Do you disagree? I most certainly do. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Oh god, this looks intense. Uh, move the conversation cursor forward to get the last word. Okay. Higher levels have greater starting advantage. Woody is 11 levels lower. Okay. Uh, disruptive? Submissive? I guess we can only pick disruptive. Subtle? Common? Overt? I guess... Ooh, okay. Power? Movement? Primary. Gain power. Secondary movement. Okay, so I'll start off subtle, I guess. Subtle conversation. Oh! Oh god, I stabbed her! Oh, that didn't work. So it's like, a. Uh... The last word, this is the talk of shame. Okay. Well, it seems I've left you speechless. Hmm. Be a girl, girl, and bring me a glass of that 20 year blanc. It's just delicious. Come now, social class. Don't leave a thirsty woman waiting her evening nip. I think I'm gonna wait you. Oh. I guess I have no choice. She got the last word. Hmm, you can pour a glass of wine fairly well, at least. I commend you. Classy slurp, that is in no way obnoxious. <sighs> ah, simply divine. As you're no doubt aware, there's great power in the ability to get the last word in a conversation. No shit. I thought that was just the name of the goddamn... The goddamn game. Uh, in that brief moment of speechlessness, you were susceptible to my persuasive... Persuasions. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's a positively overwhelming feeling. It certainly is. You don't sound enthusiastic enough and it bores me to no end. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to strike up a conversation elsewhere. Find the lock icon to progress the story. Okay. Movement. Eh. Hmm. What the fuck? Okay. Are we looking around? We're we looking around? Crackling of a warm fire soothes me. Okay. Can I have a drink? Can I get myself some wine? Oh. Maybe I should pour myself a glass of... Unknown topic! No, I can't! It's illegal! The label on the wine is rather fancy. Can't fucking talk about anything! No conversation allowed! Locked door. Locked drawers. What about this one? Locked? Everything's locked. Nope. Someone's in the bathroom. Could talk to you, but where's the fun in that? Hmm. This is an awkward statue. It's a stone mouth that says Seymour House at the bottom. Ooh. Oh, can't talk about it. Thought the Seymour House was unlocked already. Ugh. Your discussion with Miss Mrs. Prattle was subpar. Should a servant really have an opinion on how other people talk to one another? My fine lady, a servant should do as he's told, and nothing more. Locked topic, Seymour House. Ooh! <clears throat> the Seymour House is often overlooked these days. Any idea why Master Seymour was invited? Even stranger is why you worry about the Seymours. It seems to me that the former Gossip House is less likely to be invited. 
But there's a reason for everything. Sit back and enjoy the show. Oh god. XP acquired, stored XP, special event, okay. Sparkling wine? Can't talk about the sparkling wine! Can't talk about shit! Okay, well, can I talk about this now? Hmm, this is an awkward award. Okay, can't talk about the awkward award. A lot of these books are historical. The Fall of the House of Gossip. That's me. Why are you why are you reading about the fall of my house? It was a very nice house. I don't see why what I could gain from reading such blather. What about this? This small section of books deals primarily with military history. Can't talk about military history. Apparently, I don't know anything. I am a child running around this house. Where is my adult? There's nothing but flavor text here. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Ooh, what's this weird lamp? There's a statue. Nope, can't talk about it. I guess I have to talk with this guy. Huh. Uh, I'm a little surprised seeing you talk with Miss Pr Mrs. Prattle like that. You mean just now? What of it? It's just, I don't know. I was like, it was like watching a fight and I didn't expect you to take part in. Okay. Key topic, Seymour House. We've just met Seymour. I don't know why you're already making expectations. You're right. I guess I'm still a little bit flustered. Like I said before, my mother usually handled these affairs. Looks like I have a lot to learn. Yep. Well, teach the basics. Teach the basics, I guess, so you can teach me the basics. Okay. Uh, common discourse can be summed up by saying that whomever gets the last word wins. That's about accurate. Disruptive equals power. Submissive equals tact. Aggressive equals movement. Okay. To move the conversation forward in the direction you'd like, you need to carefully juggle, th juggle, juggle, juggle three types of phrases. We'll be simple. Let's start with a disruptive phase phrase. Okay, disruptive. Uh, subtle. <laughs> so it's like a rock paper th scissors thing in the middle there. Uh. I guess we'll go with, uh, subtle. Okay, and just stab him, that's pretty subtle. Uh, the disruptive phase garnered a small amount of power in the conversation. To really affect the discourse, we need tact. Now that we have some power, select a submissive phrase. But first, we'll give the opposition their turn. You know, oh, okay, we're back. Well, so, submissive? Uh, what will gain us the most tact? Oh, I guess we can only- yep, we can only select subtle. Ooh. I've irritated them. Okay. The submissive phrase reduce power, but gain tact. Alright, so... This tact is needed to be aggressive. Is needed to be aggressive without losing face. Alright, so the top is power and the bottom is- the bottom bar is tact up there. Alright. We'll go ahead and say an aggressive phase and watch the conversation truly start to move. Ooh. Alrighty. Aggressive! Subtle, common. Let's go with common! Yeah, set you on fire! The more pegs shown over composure... So those bottom things are pegs. The more the conversation moves forward when using an aggressive phase. Composure is important. If someone has damaged composure, they may become more susceptible to aggressive phrases. Oh! Up there! Not down there, up there! So now they're irritated. I'm collected, he's irritated. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to, but I can see where it's going. Or to be more clear, aggressive phrases move the conversation rather than further when the listener has worse composure. That makes sense. I mean... Each phrase uses a tone. Square, Star of David, or Circle. Hmm. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I mean, what? Just use a triangle! I mean, there's already- that's two triangles on top of each other! Why not just use a triangle? Damage Composure uses- by using a stronger tone. Once the speaker chooses a phrase, they also commit to a tone. The chosen tone is shown as a shape below the person who used it. Okay. I didn't start my timer here. I just realized. Fuck. Okay. Uh, shape below the person who used it. 
Balance phrases, choices based Oh, balance phrase choices based on resources, immediate effects on the conversation. Wait, what? Balance phrase is choice based on resources, immediate effects on the conversations, and tones to get to the advantage. Okay. So get all put all of these things in perspective. There's a lot going on. Holy shit, this is this is This is in depth. It's more than one thing going on, so it it hurts my brain. More information can be read at the save point. Okay, so we can read all of this later. Stop stabbing me! Alright, but you're irritated, so I can go for disruptive. Hmm. And go for common, I guess. Aha! Now you're frustrated. Square on a square. It's giving you more power. Okay. Submissive. Just want to see how this all of this works. Oh, you stabbed me. Hmm, okay, so aggressive, and we'll go with. Oh, wow, that sets me forward a lot. Common! There we go. You're a wimp! Oh, now I'm irritated. Shit. Shit, he's got a lot of tact going on, so. Can't stop that, so. Hmm. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop stabbing me. It's impolite. Disruptive. We'll go for... Overt. Aha. Now I have more power than you. I have less tact, though. Stop tacting yourself up, bro. Ooh, his blood is boiling. That's good. God, what happens when he gets 100 tact? Now I'm frustrated, so we'll go with- nope, we can't do that. How do we go back? Okay. Press the left button to go back. Oh, Z-shift. Huh, what the? Okay. <laughs> uh, descriptive labels. Wait a minute. Escape? Oh, okay! Phrases, tone, conversation bar. Special skill, paid attention, tipping point. That's okay. I see what you're going for here. Let's go for overt, because then I win! And frankly, sir, that your bow tie is tied horribly. Gain experience after discourse. Experience is higher when winning than losing. No shit. Aha! I'm now level two. The last word, your dictation was remarkable. Feel smarter? I suppose. Just try to remember the phrases civ civilitis civilitum. Saint Laudan's motto? I never learned Latin. It's not Latin, it's complete gibberish to the finest degree, but everything has meaning. It worked as a reminder that in the civilized world, it isn't what you say that matters, but how you say it. Civilitis civilitum. Our nation hasn't steered us wrong yet. I'll try to keep that in mind. Perhaps I'll start picking up on some of the finer points as I go along. Hopefully. Oh look, here are these two people. They finally made it in the fucking door. So I told the young lady that she could have my hat only if she put down the revolver. Brilliant tale, Mr. Boasting. I'm sure that impoverished child you saved will never forget your deeds. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, you'd better not. Servant, when are we going to meet the professor? Uh, at breakneck speed, I assure you, Professor Chatters needs to finish setting up the equipment. Ugh, oh god. <clears throat> Where do voice cracks play into this? Setting up the equipment before the grand display. Newest invention? Uh, and let's say you tell us what this new device of his is, eh? I've been sworn to secrecy, as I'm sure you'd expect, Judge Boasting, but your charm is noted. It's been noted. I'm just looking at my nails. Hmm, yes. Uh, I encourage you to all mingle while we wait. The wine is out and corked. Enjoy it! It looks like we must wait a bit longer, Mr. McCall. Too bad we can't still be at the door, telling each other to get the hell in the house. Uh, it seems to be that way, Mr. Boasting. Care to grab a drink? I'd love to, Mr. McCall. After you! Oh, fucking yeah. god. This is a small party. I expected more varied crowd, didn't you? I guess I never thought about it, but maybe more people will arrive. The night's young. 
Oh god, keep topics. Select a key topic and gossip with guests. Level up the topic or learn new ones. Oh god, okay. Shift. I hope my sticky keys doesn't activate. Newest invention. Same warehouse. Can we talk about the same warehouse here? Okay. Talk about some more. Gossip? Chatter? So I can fight you. Let's gossip instead. There's not much to talk about, really. My mother was the head of the house, and now it's me. Chatter. So this is what a party is like. Hmm. You're not familiar with parties? Not really. I don't host any, and the Seymours haven't really been invited to any since I became the master of Seymour House. Interesting. I suppose it explains why you're so shaky right now. Possibly, although I'm always a bit shaky. Hmm. Let's gossip some more. Not much to say. Now it's me. Discourse. Do I have to discourse about it now? Feel like practicing the, um, talking? Neat. I could really use the practice. So could I, honestly. You don't sound like you're up to the challenge. Don't confuse my intense fear with a lack of enthusiasm. I am the master of Seymour House, after all. <laughs> In title, certainly, but you sound more like the servant of Seymour House. Oh, damn! I- Oh. Uh, sick burn. Seymour, I thought we were engaging in discourse. You can't give up prematurely. Try it again. Oh, I get it. Then what I mean to say was, I disagree! <laughs> okay. Oh, I like you. People are still moving in the background. That's funny. Okay. Disruptive. Uh, overt. Stab you. I stab you. I stab you real bad. Well, shit. Still got power, though, so... Uh, we'll do subtle. Hmm. Submissive. How do I get fr- Can I get my frustrated level down? Or my composure level down? I wonder. Let's go for common. Shit. Oh damn, my blood is boiling. Seymour, you're a lot better at this than you say you are! Uh... Oh, okay. Composure... Plus five? Is that my composure? Let's do it, why not? Okay, it adds to his composure. I don't think I can get rid of my composure. Or blood boiling things, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Can I go with more aggressive? Aha! Shit. Stop doing that. Ready to burst. Oh, damn. Okay. Um. I'm not good at this system. Oh no, not that. I wanted to go to aggressive. Let's go to common. Here we go, I insult you. I insult you, sir, and I've won! Ha ha ha! The last word! Your family will be proud. Okay. Level three! Earned plus one bow? Get a bow tie! Awesome! Dot, dot, dot. I hate to do this to you, but it has to be done. What do you think I should get for my trophy? Oh. Well, you look spiffy in that bow tie. I agree, but I would like more than a compliment. Yes, what I mean is that I uh, happen to have one that you should take it. It's handy, if nothing else. Very thoughtful, Seymour. I think I'll take it. Earned a bow. What does a bow do? Now keep practicing. You have some shaping up to do. I'll accept that challenge. Okay. Now... What do I- No, I don't want to talk to you. You know, look at here. There's an enormously large section of fables on this shelf. A lot of repeats. No need to go searching through them all. Okay, oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, can I... Hmm. Okay. Skills. Wines. Talk about the Seymour House family and the recent history, including status and location. Okay. Talk about the newest mechanical creation of the estate's host, Professor Chatters. Okay, so that's the- uh, sorry. Let's go through here. Hmm, awkward statue? No, can't talk about the awkward statue. 
What is the thing at Seymour House? Level? It's at two, so... Can I talk to you some more about the Seymour House? Gossip? Not much to say? Okay. So I guess I have to talk to someone else regarding the Seymour House. Can I look at this? Is this the strange device? What an odd design. Part copper, part rubber. Newest invention. Okay. Oh, so wait a minute. I'm probably looking at this wrong. Duh. It's this one. Okay. So it's not the Seymour house thing. We need to level up for that. Like the flavor text. Okay. You know what? Let's talk to... What's her face again? Maybe she'll tell us about wine. No. Come back. Yo. Uh, shall we gossip? The Seymour house. I'm all too familiar. It's a rather lesser house. That odd man with the glasses is the youngest member, if I'm not horribly mistaken. But I'd rather not talk about that lineage tonight. Well, yo, we need to talk about it some more. Let's chatter about it. Uh, this party is getting dreadfully boring. I have the urge to leave. Oh, well. Fuck. Oh. Okay, shall we, uh, uh, discourse? Didn't I already put you in your place? I came here for discourse, dear, not to destroy the spirits of young girls. I might engage you properly in a few hours after I've had a few more glasses of wine. Well. Shit. How about you? Shall we gossip? Seymour House. Seymour House. Hmm, it seems like I should know more about it, but I'm drawing a blank. Damn. So we chatter. Good evening, Miss Gossip. Good evening, Mr. McCall. I see you and Mr. Boasting are settling in well. Yes, we have a sort of history. He's a master conversationalist, I find. Verbally sparring with him works to my advantage. You're just saying, oh yes, after you. Oh no, I insist. Back and forth. That's not verbal sparring. That's a broken record! He allows me to keep up, I know, but one day I hope to have as much social experience under my belt as he does. Uh, that's a rather simple aspiration. I've had no lack of aspirations thus far in life, big or small, complex or simple. I have room for all of them. Uh, okay. Shall we- you're level three, so am I level three? I might be level three. Let's discourse. Discourse can be a riveting sort of puzzle. Let me show you what I mean. Sure. What's your opinion on professional boxing? This sounds like a weighted conversation. Excuse me if I'm cautious. It is an expertise of mine, certainly, although a new viewpoint is always welcomed. Uh, then if you must know, I think very little of it. You jest. St. Lauren was founded on the principles of diplomacy, strength in words, not arms. That's a modern fallacy compared to the origins of humanity or even Europe as a whole. We might... We fought and struggled long before words existed. Boxing is an homage to our heritage. It harkens back to our origins, pitting one being against the other in close quarters. So much time and effort is placed into destroying another person, not just body, but pride and reputation. And you should think that because the activity is physical, is somehow it's less than, say, a highly regarded debate at a university. Primal brutality can hardly compare to philosophical discussion. Allow me to assert the opposite. Oh god, I thought he was gonna fucking punch me! <laughs> right? That sounded like a one-liner before you punch someone. Um... Uh... Let's go right for... Let's just do common. Just to be careful. Stab you. Stab you like that. Oh, and you stab me right back. What the fuck? How did you do that? What a weird, uh, turn of events that there's no medical supplies here at the hospital. Uh... Okay. I don't know what to make of that. We can drop them off. And then one of them is a place we need to go to anyway. No, Khan, get out of here. I want nothing to do with your completely inhospitable people. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but you're very rude.